Now let us discuss about the combination of two cells in series. Suppose we have two cells, let's say a cell having EM of E1 and internal resistance R1 connected in series with another cell of EM of E2 and internal resistance R2. See, let this point be A, this point B, no, this point be B, this point B, C. Since series connection means this is the positive terminal of the cell, this is the negative terminal of the first cell. Series connection means the negative terminal of the first cell is connected to the positive terminal of the second cell. And we know for series connection, the same current flows through all the resistors or all the cell. Let I be the current flowing through the cell. Now, we have the potential difference between A and B. Let's say potential potential difference between A and B. Let's call that as VAB. VAB. VAB is equal to, you know, the potential will be terminal potential will be E minus IR where E is the EMF of the cell, I is the current flowing through the cell and R is the internal resistance. And between A and B we have the cell of EMF E1. So E1 minus I into R1. R1 is the internal resistance of the cell. You don't have to write I1 because same current flows through both the cells. And you know VAB is equal to VA minus VB. Potential at A minus potential at B is equal to E1 minus IR. Let's call that as equation number 1. Similarly, the potential difference between B and C, you can call that as VBC is equal to E2 minus IR2. And VBC is equal to VB minus VC. Similarly, this is similar to the equation number 1. VB minus VC equal to E2 minus IR2. Let's call that as equation number 2. Now, if I add 1 and 2, equation 1 and 2, what, what, what I will get is, on the left hand side, you have VA minus VB plus VB minus VC. On the right hand side, it is E1 minus IR1 plus E2 minus IR2. You can cancel this VB and VB. So VA minus VC is equal to, you can rearrange this. That is E1 plus E2 minus IR1 minus IR2. So this can be simplified as VA minus VC, VA minus VC is equal to E1 plus E2 minus I into R1 plus R2. Let's call that as equation number 3. Now suppose, suppose I remove these two cells and between the points A and C, between these points A and C, I connected, I used a single cell having, having EM of E, let's say E equivalent and resistance R, internal resistance R equivalent, such that this cell replaces the effect of, that is, this cell gives the same effect as is provided by the series combination of these two cells. The effect remains the same. That is, even if I replace these two cells with this single cell, the same current flows through the cell or the effect remains the same. So that 
from the this circuit you can write CBA minus VC is equal to VAC. VAC is equal to E1 plus E2 minus I into R1 plus R2. Let's call that as equation number 4. Now looking at this circuit, you can write VAC, potential difference between A and C is equal to E equivalent minus same current flows through the circuit. So I into R equivalent. We always, always know poten terminal potential is equal to EM of minus I into R, I into internal resistance. Call this as equation number 5. When you compare 4 and 5, you can write E equivalent. You know equation 4 is equal to equation 5 because both of these on the left hand side you have VAC on both these equations. So E equivalent minus IR equivalent is equal to E1 plus E2 minus I into R1 plus R2. When you compare, you will get E equivalent is equal to E1 plus E2. Also, the coefficient of I here is R equivalent. Here, the coefficient of I on the right hand side is R1 plus R2. So, when two cells are connected in series, their equivalent EMF will be sum of their individual EMFs and the internal resistance will be the sum of the internal resistance of, of the each cell. Clear. 